Hello, welcome back to part two of building a full stack blog with React.js and Google Sheets. If you haven't watched the part one yet, I recommend starting there. If you have, then let's start where we left off. So we created a text input for the blog title. Let's also, uh, let's go back to our documentation and grab this one, right? Label, description, and placeholder. And just paste them here. Now this, notice that this is for the text input field and we are just using text input, so we'll replace that and import. So it comes here as an import. So now let's change the label. Uh, we'll call it blog title. For the description, let's just say cool title. And for the placeholder, we'll say my first blog. Let's hit save and let's check it out. As you can see, our input box now have, has a title, a subtitle and some placeholder. So next thing, we'll create an input box for the description. Okay. So this is the list that we are going after if you recall from the previous video. So let's just quickly get all these input fields going. Blog description, cool description, more details, okay. So while we are doing this, uh, we can create a state variable, use state, which will be a string again, empty, and this will be our description there. Now the third input box for image URL, copy paste, set image, URL, image URL, and a third state variable for image URL. Again, a string then then we need a bigger text input for body so in our documentation do we have something called yes a text area so we'll grab the text area component oops copy bring it here oh here import it right it should look like this then we'll set the body and body and now we need to create the state for body set body right and there we have our text area. Let's also give it a label. So we import label like this and we call it blog body 
this is for text area 2 so we give this id of text area 2 or we can just call it body and this as well but let's just call it text area 2 okay so now we have an input box for body as well So we have title, description, image, body. The rest we'll do later. Okay. So now let's try to center our form. We'll create a pane. So pane in this library is basically a div, sort of. And let's import pane it should look like this save right now let's give this pane a width of 500 cool and we'll keep the height to be auto now we'll give it some style so the style first we'll give a margin of zero auto in order to center the pane so it's centered now right and what else do we want here let's change this to a heading right and Uh, where's the heading? Heading has a size prop, which is number. Let's try that. right so now it's a bit big cool so we have a heading we have a form so this is basically our create form right now what we want is a button at the bottom so button is also imported from evergreen like this and the button should say save post or maybe create post right and on click on click it should call the create function so now we need to write the create function for now let's create the outline and arrow function like this and this is where we'll save the user entered input to a google sheet okay so before we do that we first check whether any value is empty right so we'll check if not title if not description if not image url and if not or if not body so we should return right. if any of this is not present then the function should return if not then it would call the api and save it in the google sheets if there is an error then we'll log it to the console cool and this since this function will call the api will make it async will make use of the async await syntax to call the api so now let's go on to step two and set up our uh, google sheets so we'll use something called sheet db uh, you can use other ones if you'd like you can figure out the documentation yourself but i'm using this one uh, because it gives us a free tier so let's go ahead and 
Right, so I've created a free account and I'm in the dashboard. Let's create a new API. So it's asking for a Google spreadsheet, but we'll just create a new one. We'll call it my blog and hit create. And for the column names, we'll just give one title to description, three image URL, uh, four body. Okay. So for starters, starters, let's just keep uh, these four. So there's our endpoint. And that's probably our key. If you are watching this video, don't bother to copy my API keys because I'll delete uh, everything after I'm done with the video. So let's open the sheet and here it is. And you get a bunch of settings and functions here. You can check it out on your own time. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and I have, I haven't ever used this. So we'll just quickly go and take a look at the docs. Let's try to do it with just the API endpoints and stuff using a library. So the read endpoint is get API v1 API ID. And then a bunch of things. And we are interested for in the create one for now. So the create one is API v1, same. And it should be a post request. Should contain a data attribute. It should be an array of rows. The keys inside the object should be column names. And the values will be filled in the spreadsheet. You can use increment value. Sheet DB will look for the biggest number in the given column and increment by one. Okay. So we can create a timestamp. You can use date time. And okay. So the data attribute should look like this. Okay, let's take it for a spin. Cool. Uh, I'll copy this endpoint. Go back to our editor. We'll use the fetch function. Now in here, our method should be post. And our body. should be JSON stringify. And they say that there should be a data attribute, right? Okay, so something like this. Yeah, we could just copy this entire fetch. So we have our API request here. Now we just need to replace this with our data. So we'll do title, uh, description, image URL, and body. So that should do it. And we'll do data equals await res.json and we'll just log to the console our data and we also need to put await here let's hit save and let's try it out 
so first blog first blog first blog wait uh, did did I not image URL so description is blog description description okay so this should be image URL blog image and placeholder can be we'll just leave it blank right blog body cool so let's try and find an image for our blog uh, where should we go we'll copy the address and save here oh cool um let's keep our fingers crossed probably it won't work Did anything happen? Wait, let's check our this. So if title is present, true, so this becomes false, this becomes false, this becomes false, false, so this should return. So this should not return. Let's try it out. Okay, I guess this is not reaching there. Let's for a moment let's comment it out. And we get an error saying bad data format. Okay, so it seems like we need to have an ID. Probably that's the error. It worked. Yeah, so that was the error. Uh, so every row needs to have an ID and we can just set it to increment, which is the default. So uh, sheet db will handle the increment of every new row i incrementing the id for every new row and but if we go here and look then we don't actually see the value here okay so i i think i figured out uh because i copied the code from uh here and this had a different sheet id so let's paste it here. Uh, like that. And now let's give it a try again. And there. <laughs> Finally. Cool. So our create API is working fine and create blog is working fine. So I guess I'll end this video here and in the next video, we'll try and uh, read uh, some blog posts and display them on the screen. If you're liking this series so far, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks.